I met a gypsy. It was pretty crazy. I was just relating all of it. When it when he ever he referenced like music, nearly the exact same thing was happening in writing it at this time, like two years ago. And like the way that people are signing contracts and deals and mm. to labels and all that stuff. And like instead of labels, it's a bike brand or something. Yeah. So I was trying to compare all of that. Like in my head, I just signed the biggest contract of my life. So I was trying to work out like what is this kind of like where do i go from here so i was just like listening to a lot of things just trying to get some inspiration and the biggest thing that stood out in in that which has pretty much like changed my perception on everything in life was this one kind of line that he says he's like you know you're gonna you're gonna be so different or he's been so different that everyone just looks at him like he's weird yeah. and then like oh that's skepta and then they're like oh yeah he's just doing something different to like oh that's kind of like mm, all right to like my man is hard yeah and yeah. they're like it goes through the stages of like this 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 and then i took that back to like watching lords of dogtown yeah and you watch what they're doing in the 70s and and the skate change of like wearing tight clothes figure skating and all that kind of crap to bowl skating and i took like those 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 two and then put it to mountain bike and the mountain bike is in the exact same one and it just clicked. I was like, all of the talk in my head was like, far out mountain biking is pretty much what Lords of Dogtown was in the 1970s. And we're in the same progression stage now. We're 20 years into the sport or whatever. And I was like, that's like what it is. They just were, they just wanted to be badass skaters and they did it and they didn't care what anyone else said. And it's what Skepta said about starting his own label and just doing like, there's only so far that, that you can have that headspace where you're questioning yourself and people are questioning you and they're like yeah you're like is like for a while there i was like is it weird that i'm just wearing normal clothes or is it weird that i'm not running a chain and not racing and not doing events i'm just writing and filming and it was like really yeah questioning myself about that and then it got to the point where i was like well if i try to get to this next stage of like where people will actually start guessing what i'm doing rather than thinking i'm weird mm and then it starts it starts the progression and i feel like now it's like a year's going on and it's starting to get to the point where people are like well remy's actually done that now and it's it all came from like having that um that month of just thinking in my head and kind of resolving all those issues in the little cabin it was pretty pretty weird eh? dude for sure man like i mean yeah i, I can totally relate like the i i went through like a breakup at the like the kind of towards the end of 2019 and then i was just like i was in this weird place where i'd never really like it kind of just hit me where i just never really been alone yeah and i was just like fuck i really feel i don't know why but i was i think i kind of got some inspiration from reading about these like monks or people that would go on these retreats and dude yeah, there's right. like there's literally monks that will sit in a cave for like 27 years yeah and like someone brings them rice and water and then that's it like they just literally sit in this cave and it was just i don't know i just kind of took a bit of inspiration from that it's like maybe there is some real merit to being alone like i saw i never really saw the point of being alone yeah in a, in a way i was like well, what's the, why what's the fucking point like if you could be around cool people that you like then be around cool people that you like fully and that's so true but there there is like a balance that there's definitely a balance i think yeah and, and if you can't be okay with being alone then it's almost like the um the people around they're just a crutch that you're leaning on like you can't walk on your own like you've got to lean on these yeah good, good people and so i just sort of saw some merit in that and i just really studied like i read a fuckload of books on these different topics i did a lot of just like meditation where it was just like nothing crazy not super long but just that process of like looking at myself looking at my thoughts seeing what come up when they come up like Learning looking yourself. at even why they come like i don't know where that come from like i didn't want to think that i didn't sign yeah. up for that particular thought like any negative thought that's in your head that you know like oh you don't do events remy it's like you obviously didn't want to think that yeah like if you could have chose if, if that, yeah i don't want that thought in my head yeah if there was like a gate that or like you're gonna crash on this one remy if there was a gate and you could like fucking not let that in then you just wouldn't yeah but, but we don't really get that choice you know yeah. so then i sort of was like i was just sitting there in that kind of mindset and and dude you're right man like at one line or one piece of text or you know something can just like shift the perspective 
away from that old way of Fully. thinking and it's almost like it just breaks the flow of what it, wherever those negative thoughts come from like if you do enough work or if you listen or if you think about things enough or if you um you know i guess like strive to get enough wisdom around a certain topic it's like that sort of is how you like shut that gate in a way fully i think and it it goes for me back to like dad always just being so backing and telling me what to do but like in that skeptor interview he he talks about the stuff that i was mentioned and then he's like the strong pretty much the strongest words i've ever heard which i actually got tattooed on me now after hearing that was he's like fuck the scene yeah and it's like you, you're brought up believing so much stuff within the scene and that goes to any situation any sport for like, sure man and you're like what what even is the scene at the end of the day the scene is just an image it's just a bunch of people trying to be like each other it's like what what even is that you know like let's build the community you're still helping everyone out every everyone if not more people are involved in the community except you're all individuals like you're gonna you know you 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 can just be yourself and be an individual and advertise yourself as an individual. And by doing that, you're going to build a whole community of rad people rather than a whole scene of people trying to be the same as each other. Yeah. And then like comparing to each other. And, yeah. And then it becomes like, it's, but it's built on like weird values that the whole thing just strikes me so hard. Cause I was like, well, it goes back to everything. It's like, it goes back to bullying and, and like, people judging each other and like you turn up and you're like you go to a race and and you'll see kids and they'll be like oh nice kit like being smart yeah you're like, yeah you're like well that kid can't afford that like how yeah. is it even developed into the point where you can rip someone out because he's wearing a fluoro troy lee kit compared to someone wearing a set of clothes from kmart like it's just like build build the community and and spread the love within that and like just yeah like fuck everything else off just be it doesn't need to be a scene it needs to be a group of people having a lot of fun together dude it's so true man and i'll tell you as well that this podcast really got fun for me when i embraced the community yeah there was a there was a weird i guess i just didn't have experience i've never done anything like this before you know yeah and uh there was a point where i was like ah at some point it's probably going to get too big to manage that yeah side of thing like i won't be able to reply to all the dms i won't and i was just thinking like so far down the fucking track so i like really didn't put that much effort into the like replying to people i didn't really try and create like events or things that everyone was a part of it was just doing interviews yeah but it was covid where i was like fuck people are gonna like need something to you know to be a part of and that's yeah. like that's a good thing and then i really like tried to lean into that side of it and then as soon as i did i was like oh this is like the fucking whole point yeah yeah you like this is what it's all about really yeah <laughs> and, and it's what you said it's a, it's a community you know it's not about yeah, yeah it's not like a, a a scene or like a click or whatever it's just like it's literally yeah, just a community it's just like of people build yourself and be yourself into the individual you want to be and by being an individual it'll it'll attract others and and it'll probably attract the people you want around you and yeah and, and thin those out that you don't want around you kind of thing yeah definitely dude if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang